great many Christians believe that God is in control of everything that happens on earth. Many of these folks look to Romans chapter 9 as one of their primary supports for their belief. As an example, in that chapter, Paul says this, Therefore, he has mercy on whom he wills, and whom he wills, he hardens. Ultimately, God has the right to determine how he will show mercy. But does God arbitrarily pick winners and losers by blessing some folks and arbitrarily hardening the hearts of others? The case of Pharaoh in the Exodus account sheds some light on that question. To find our answer, we must go back and look at what the scriptures say about his heart and bring that information forward into Romans chapter 9 for clarity as we look at Paul's comment about God hardening his heart. When we read through the Exodus account with an eye to see exactly what happens to Pharaoh's heart, we discover a clear pattern of progression. First, in Exodus chapter 7, we see that Pharaoh's heart grows hard. And Pharaoh's heart grew hard, and he did not heed them as the Lord had said. Then the magicians of Egypt did so with their own enchantments, and Pharaoh's heart grew hard, and he did not heed them as the Lord had said. Next, in Exodus chapter 8, we see Pharaoh hardening his own heart. But when Pharaoh saw that there was relief, he hardened his heart and did not heed them as the Lord had said. But Pharaoh hardened his heart at this time also, neither would he let the people go. Only then, after we plainly see Pharaoh clearly depicted as hardening his own heart more than once, do we see Exodus chapter 9 tell us that God hardened Pharaoh's heart. But the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, and he did not heed them just as the Lord had spoken to Moses. Based on this sequence of events, we see that Pharaoh was not a robot simply following a program that God forced upon him. Instead, God knew what was already in Pharaoh's heart and how he would respond to the situation. God used what he knew that Pharaoh would do to both bless the people of Israel and to bring glory to himself in the process. Really, what was going on here is that God responded to Pharaoh in the same way that God responds to anyone who determines in their heart to practice ungodliness. We see this in Romans chapter 1. Paul describes people who do a whole bunch of ungodly stuff starting in verse 18. Then in verse 24 he says, Therefore God gave them up to uncleanness to the lusts of their hearts. Those people filled their hearts with ungodliness first. Then God responded by giving them up to even more ungodliness. The cycle repeats then as Paul goes on to say this, And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a debased mind to do those things which are not fitting. Again, as with Pharaoh, it's a case of God responding to what people do in their own hearts. God is not a cruel, sadistic programmer in the sky churning out people who robotically do ungodly stuff. Instead, he responds to what's in our hearts. God won't be a part of the bad things that people do. Instead, he gives them over to the unclean, debased mind that they desire so much. Unlike how it is often interpreted, when Paul reminds us that God hardened Pharaoh's heart, he's telling us that God has the right to show mercy on those who choose to believe him. That's the good news for you because you can choose to keep your heart sensitive and soft to the things of God and experience more of his blessing as a result.